Welcome back! It's 2018 now, and I know it's basically two weeks into 2018, and I've not really covered or touched base on any of my resolutions because I personally like to take things slow, and I don't like to make commitments and decisions and just make resolutions for the heck of it. At the beginning of a year, I usually like to take like about a week to or two weeks to think about what I really want to focus on and that's what I've done and that's why I'm only uploading this now because I've actually formulated what I want to achieve in 2018. Now a lot of YouTubers do these, I personally find these very motivating, I love to watch these and that's why I'm making one. Also comment down below what you are going to try and achieve or change in your life in 2018 to make it better and to align with the best possible version of yourself basically. Yeah, so without further ado, I'm going to give you my 10 things that I would like to stick to or change or work on to better myself in 2018. The first thing that I want to do more of in 2018 is read more, so I've set myself a goal and so has my partner Kane. We are both going to try and read 26 books at least in 2018 and in failing that, even if I don't reach 26, I still would have read a lot more than I would have than if I wouldn't have set myself that goal in the first place. That's a really good mindset to have when you're setting goals. If you know that you want to do it and even if you fall slightly short, you still did a lot more than what you would have done, like whether it's like to be healthier, if you like slip up and eat crap some days, like you're still doing a lot more than what you were doing. So anyway, I'm applying that mindset to my reading goal. My first books that I've started on for the year, hang on, Stephen King's It. The last book that I read in 2017 was The Shining because I needed to read it for my gothic literature course at university, so I was reading It because I wanted to because I really liked both of the movies, even the 1990 one, so that's the thing that I'm doing. I started with a huge book, no regrets, it's great. My second resolution is to keep notifications on my phone switched off. I'm still obviously on social media, which I'll leave down below, but I am definitely the t Whoa, no, I'm definitely the sort of person who uses social media without intention a lot of the time, and when I say without intention, I mean I find myself scrolling or stalking or not stalking weird I mean like I'll just go and f search like half a dozen profiles on Instagram and scroll back to like two years ago that's like what happens if I don't set myself time limits or that anyway so I'm just gonna keep the notifications turned off and then if I want to go onto Instagram it's like why am I going onto Instagram and what am I doing and if I notice myself going off track whether it's on Facebook or Twitter or blah blah blah, I'm just gonna stop right there. That's my resolution is to scroll less and to consume less on social media and just to um, use it with purpose is what I'm going to do. And thinking about it logically, a lot of people get scared about turning off notifications because of messages and blah 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 with Facebook, but like if someone needs to contact you and if they're really important to you, they'll have your number and they'll be able to text or call you, so that's what I'm doing. My third resolution is to develop a better relationship with food in 2018, so by that I mean just eat healthily and try and eat balanced and try and eat enough. So I am a person who's quite busy. I'll often use that as an excuse to either forget to eat meals or to eat chips or, because I'm vegan, chips are like the go-to option. That's fine sometimes. And when I say balanced, I mean I, I can have that stuff. I can still have that. That's great. I can do that. But don't have potato gems for lunch every single day, like you did this morning. But yeah, just develop better, eat more greens. I want to just eat more greens and go to the gym. I haven't been to the gym yet this year. Oh no, that's a lie. I just want to feel like I'm eating healthily so that my body feels good. And then in terms of that, I'm not going to say go to the gym this many times a week because I am quite an active person physically with my jobs. So yeah just exercise when I feel like it and eat balanced and eat more greens yeah that's my health orientated goal also three years ago I went vegetarian two years ago I went vegan if you want to try veganuary I recommend it because you will feel great so that's my little challenge okay my fourth one is sort of health related as well 
Last year I made a resolution to drink less coffee because I know it is bad for my teeth. My teeth aren't perfectly white because I drink too much coffee. That's improved a lot over the past year. And there was a stage not too long ago where I drink like five coffees a day and it would be bad because it wouldn't make me less tired, it would just make me stable. And if I had less than that, I would just be so tired. I'll be tired, but I'd still be tired anyway. So last year I did, I think I got down to one a day. One coffee a day was great. Now this year's resolution is to drink less because there are so many times where I'm like, oh, I'm watching Doctor Who. Could go for a wine right now, but it's like, do you really need the wine right now? Like, uh, is that just because it's there? Could you not have a tea or something? So, uh, and also going in hand in hand with that is to not have a hangover this year. Okay? Not doing that. I mean, I'm going to give myself some leeway. I'm going to give myself birthday leeway and Christmas leeway on that one. But just to not overdo it this year in terms of drinking, because it's bad for your skin, it's bad for your blood sugar, your potassium, all these other things. And if I'm wanting to improve my health, that's something that's more sensible to do. So, coffee was last year, the drinking's this year. Not as much. I say that like it's out of control, it's really not. It's just, I just, just want to be healthier overall. Just a little disclaimer. My fifth resolution is to put myself more out there in terms of acting and I set that, I knew that I was going to set that and start day one in January 2018 and this week gone I was just on a movie, just, just I was, I, if, if I put myself to it I can do it and that's, I, that's what I did in the first week of January I did that and that was great because I put myself to it and I can't wait to see what will happen if I actually consistently do that every single day and go to auditions like I want to but I never can be like bothered or I self-doubt or you know I just doubt so this year less doubt more putting myself out there so that I get to do things like I've already done and it's only January so keep it up future me. Six is another sort of creative one and that is to complete 10 new costumes between my partner and I. So I cosplay, obviously I think that if you're here you probably know that I cosplay. Here are some of my cosplays now. But I would like to either improve or make new cosplays, 10 of them this year, and not go past 10 because it, that, that's expensive, you know. So 10 between my partner and I is the goal because that would be 5 each and maybe more for me, less for him or vice versa. But I like creating things and it's awesome to keep having new content and just updating things. So far I'm currently working on five, so that's half of them gone. Six actually, six. Six new ones are in the works, so I can't go over the the ten. That's my mark because I've got to save as well, so ten new cosplay. Seven is two. Get rid of something from my bedroom every single day. Clutter is a thing that builds up pretty easily in my room and it may not even be a big thing but it adds up, okay? When you keep all the stuff in your desk drawer, you're like, whoa, where'd this come from? And it's just because you keep putting it in your desk drawer. Sorry that door slammed, it was just some, I don't know. You just wake up one day and you're like, well, there's so much stuff everywhere, where did this all come from? But I am gonna get rid of one thing from my bedroom every single day. I'm not talking about like sentimental stuff or like going, oh, I've got a declutter, like, this is from this pile of stuff. I'm just talking about like, hey, is there a makeup brush that you haven't used in a while? Is that one rubbish? Chuck it. Is there a shirt in your wardrobe from 2008 that you haven't worn for four years? Get rid of it. Like, that sort of stuff. Stuff that is easy, like, by the end of the year I would have gotten rid of 365 things. Um, I'm a bit behind, but that's the goal. And I will write them down as I get rid of things can clear my wardrobe, clear my, my drawers which are a disaster, clear that area which is a work in progress, but that's one of the goals. My eighth goal is to graduate university this year. Now last year I took it part time because I was getting a lot of modelling work, so I obviously wanted to pursue that because it's very luck and chance and uh, it, it was just an opportunity and I kept getting opportunities throughout the year so I made it a decision as a 21 year old to put being a full time teacher on hold for a little while. Now when I do graduate, I'm not too sure what I'll do. I may either go straight into pursuing teaching or I may just keep it off to the side but I will finish it this year. By the end of the year I will be a qualified 
primary school teacher or elementary school if you're from the US, but that's what I do outside of modeling and all this other stuff in case you didn't know. That's gonna happen this year. I'm excited. Okay, nine is to go with the flow and to accept when your plans don't completely work out and to not freak out over stupid little things this year, okay? So just accept whatever happens, happens for a reason, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing or a thing that you get stressed about, like whatever it is, even if it's a horrible situation, it's happened for a reason and it's it's meant to happen and it will lead you to become the person that you need to be and that's sort of something I want to just remember throughout 2018 is to just be like water and go with the flow a little bit. My last goal is to keep journaling throughout 2018. I started bullet journaling in 2016, I did it all 2016, 2017, but progressively I've gotten better at it and not that better is like a thing that you can use when it comes to art but I feel like I've made more aesthetically pleasing things um, with myself. So this is my bullet journal this year and this is my planner which is broken up into hours of the day which is something I need and I love this. This is from Kiki K and it's great. I can go into it in another video. This one's just pretty and it's, it's nice and yeah. Keep up with this and this so that my life stays on a productive creative route and that I can see progress written at the end of the month and the year and just remember good things. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope that you have a wonderful 2018 and that you achieve all of your goals and even if you don't, even if you feel like you haven't had a good year so far, it's only the 14th at the moment when I put out this video, I don't know, but you can restart at any time, you don't have to wait till next year to restart and reset yourself. Like you can make up something new that you want to pursue tomorrow and then start tomorrow, that you don't need to pin it to the start of a new year, you can just start. You can just right now go do something that is going to make your tomorrow better, right now, okay? I will see you in my next video, bye! I'm so sweaty right now, like it's so hot outside and everyone's like, wow, that highlight, and I'm like, nah, it's, it's a little thing called sweat. Trying to get hyped to film a thing. Fifth breath. Ugh. Can't talk, hey, can't talk. I'm talking about acting, I can't even form a sentence. What are we up to? We're up to seven now. Yeah, seven. What are we up to? We're up to nine. Nine? There's a motorbike. Progressively, I've gotten better at it. And that's it for 2018 resolutions. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. I hope that you are still here. <laughs> what the hell? I hope that you're still here. I hope I come and have I hope that you're still here. That sounds really, um, really threatening. Try that again, shall we? I think I, I don't have this, but I got sweat better and that's a thing. <sighs> I really like this so much. <laughs> it's so irritating. I love him. Also, what should I name my pork or should it just be called pork and what do you think of porks? Comment down below. Okay.